welcome to my channel, Joyce's Affordable Glam Life 360, or just Joyce. I'm on here because, well, this is the week, uh, the weekend after Christmas. So today's date is December 29th. Um, and so I wanted to come on here and just do a little, um, shopping what I what I went shopping for um my birthday is on the 26th of December so it's the day after Christmas so usually um in years past traditionally I have gone out with my mom's side of the family my uh cousin cousins and my aunt and my mom and I we used to go downtown Chicago um and we would shop along when it was Marshall Fields there and um, do some shopping along that. And then we would go have lunch at Berghoff, um, if anybody remembers uh, Chicago area and Berghoff downtown. So that was always something that I looked for, forward to every year. Um, and we did that for quite a few years. Um, but now um, it's been a long time, Berghoff is gone. Um, or is there a Berghoff still? But it's in a, I, I forgot how that works downtown now. Um, so, so we don't do that and Marshall Fields is gone. So it's kind of just changed. And this was before I got married. Um, we did a lot of that. And um, now it's a lot of um, my birthday is spent with my husband. Um, and sometimes my mom comes with. And this year um, my stepson was with as well. And we just had a birthday where I... A lot of people only um, will give me uh, gift cards and stuff like that because they know that I love to go and pick out uh, makeup and whatever, you know, I find that I really enjoy. So um, that's what I did on, the, on my birthday. And then we went to dinner and it was nice because it was my husband and my mom and my dad and my stepson and we went uh, out to dinner and um, it was just a really great day. So that happens on the day after Christmas. Now, when I was like, really young, growing up as a child, my mom would always have Christmas Eve. And that's when we would celebrate my birthday on Christmas Eve. And then we would have Christmas Day. And then the day after, it would just mainly be um, my mom, my dad, and my sister and brother and I. And we would still leftover cake and we would still um, celebrate my birthday. So it kind of was... Uh, Christmas Eve, celebrate Christmas Day, and then the day after Christmas. And I will say, you know, I know some people say when their birthday is um, the day after Christmas or Christmas or Christmas Eve or just around that time, sometimes, you know, they don't get um, as much or they celebrate it combined, which in a way my parents did do that, but they also made sure that it was separated. And so it was like my birthday, you know, cake, happy birthday, joy, you know, so it was... I never felt gypped or felt like deprived or, and they always made sure the gifts were separate. So it was, this is Christmas. These are your Christmas gifts. This is your birthday. This is your birthday gifts. So, so I, growing up, it was always, um, a treat. So to, uh, knowing that, and I always had my birthday off winter break <laughs> and I still do, <laughs> um, working in a school in the school. So that's always nice too. Um, anyway, so if you would like to see what I, I guess, bought with my birthday, Christmas um, gift cards and so forth, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to start with the clothes that I bought. There's just a couple of items. Um, actually, I think there's like four uh, sweaters. And then I bought a couple of just um, long sleeve shirts, kind of like what I'm wearing um, with the cuff. This has a cuff here um, and I got it at JCPenney and I love these kind of shirts. Um, I think in the summer, I've also said how I buy them from JCPenney as well. And I love those, the ones that are short sleeves with the cuff. Um, well, JCPenney has the long sleeves that I really love. And so um, I buy a lot of my long sleeve, just lounging around shirts from JCPenney. I wear them out too, but if I'm just around the house, um, you'll see me wearing mostly these long sleeve shirts. So let me show you the first item um, that I received or what I bought, picked out, was this very soft pink um, sweater, sweatshirt. Um, and I love it. The sleeve looks like that. And I love that. And then the uh, bottom waistline 
um, looks like this too. And it's just long hangs. It is so incredibly soft. Um, and I just was really excited to get it. The color, the pink, I think will look nice with my blonde hair, fair skin. <laughs> um, so I was really excited to find that. Um, and this is the ANA um, from JCPenney, uh, the brand ANA. Um, and I always can find such great, great um, clothes from that line. But like I said, it's so, these are so soft. So I like style, but I also like comfort for sure. And I used to, that used to not bother me. I used to be heels and now I'm looking for comfort. <laughs> so that was that one. Um, and then I got another sweater, which is just as soft. Now this one is by St. John's Bay. It's blue. Um, it's soft as well. Very, very soft. This one's even softer than the pink one, if you can believe that. It's just a regular blue speckled blue sweater, sweatshirt, what have you. Looks like that. Um, and then it has the buttons on the side and it and the bottom of the uh, sweater is more of like a scoop um, rounded uh, bottom instead of just straight across like let me see if I can show you it's like that so I was excited to find that too and everything was on sale day after Christmas trying to get rid of probably some of their Christmas apparel and stuff so I was really excited about that and then my husband um got a percentage off as well so that was fun um okay and then this sweater this is my favorite one um in terms of the look of it um I actually wore it yesterday so it's inside out so I gotta fix that so this is also by the same brand, the ANA. I think you say that's how it is, Anna. It's but it's a it's a dot n dot a. So I figured, but maybe it's Anna. I'm not sure. Um, but I love this sweater with the X from with the material that it is and the multicolored in the shirt. Um, and it's also where it is shorter in the front and longer in the back. And I just love it. Looks like that average sweater um, and it's a round neck which is nice um, so I got that and then my last sweater and this one I have been wanting since before Christmas since the fall and I haven't gotten it and I'm like well maybe you know maybe it'll still be there and it was and the best thing about it is that it was um clearance so found it I was so excited it's a mock turtleneck um and it's a it's like an animal print zebra print I guess with the blue and the black and I am just in love with this sweater so mock turtleneck I think it'll look really nice uh the sleeves have the black cuff and then the waistline again the bottom part it's just a typical sweater but I just fell in love with this print and colors so i was very excited so that was all that i got for sweaters uh for clothes and then like i said i got a green t-shirt with button down and that was like a uh it's a brighter green it's um I forgot the name of it what kind of green it is but it, it's a it's a lighter green and then um about a gray um shirt like this with the cuff that i like so much um, I got that and then I went to Target and I got an eyeshadow palette, which I will show shortly. And then I got a green V-neck. It, it's a deep, deep green, like a forest green um, that I really fell in love with. So I got that as well. Um, okay, so for the makeup, I am very excited for the makeup that I bought. It's going to take me a while to get through <laughs> trying all this out. But that's kind of what I do, though, is I wait. I'm out through the year buy things here and there but for the most part I wait until my birthday and Christmas and I go and I shop for things that I have wanted and didn't get things like that through the year um and so I'm going to show you what that is and then I found a couple of things that I didn't know was around <laughs> so you guys will have to tell me um if it's been around or if it's new or what but let me start off with the foundation so I listened to Mrs. Melissa M, I believe her name. I'm going to put it in the description box, um, her name and her YouTube channel. Please go watch her. She is fabulous. I just love watching her. She 
she's just great and she's informative and um, she just seems very down to earth. So I really enjoy watching her. But anyway, she did one of the, um, uh, I think it was 15 uh, best drugstore foundations or maybe it was 10. 10 or 15 for mature skin. And so I was quite impressed. And so I bought the number two that she said and the number one foundations that she uh, recommends. And I've also seen a couple of other YouTubers here talk about these two foundations as well and how good they are. So the first one comes from Dollar General and it's a $5 foundation. And I have heard people just rave about the Believe Foundation. Um, this is the Skin Finish Foundation, and I've heard so many people just love this foundation. I have their eyeshadow palettes when they first came out. I went and bought those, and the lip pencil, and I, but I didn't buy the foundation. Um, didn't think much of it. I had enough foundations, so I didn't purchase it. But then after hearing everybody talk about it and how much they enjoyed it, I purchased it. Five bucks, and it's that great. I'm gonna try it, right? It's affordable, it's it's great. So it was $5, like I said, um, and I bought the color Linen, which I'm wearing it today, and I'm not sure if it's too light or if it's the lighting. I think it's the lighting, because when I'm in natural light, it looks perfect, perfect color for my skin tone and everything. So I think it's just the lights are making it look very fair. I, like I said, I have it on today, and I really like it. Um, I always use the same powder with all my foundations. The Cody Airspun um, is my die-hard powder that I am in love with and will always, always uh, keep on hand. Um, if, even if I try a different powder, I will always keep that Airspun. I mean, for five, five bucks, I can't go wrong, right? Okay, so the other foundation is by Soap and Glory, and I've had, this was... The number one that Melissa um, said she loves. So Believe was number two and then the number one was this one. And I won't say the full name, but it's Kick Butt. Um, so I'm not going to say the uh, what the actual word is, but um, and it's all day wear and it's the foundation and it looks like this. Um, and it has a pump, which I love. And it's a plastic case, which this case, this Believe is a glass. I mean, you got to love the presentation of something very affordable that seems very high end. Anyway, so that is what I haven't tried this yet. Just bought it. Um, so we're going to see how this works too. Now I bought the lightest skin tone, um, the 01, and I'm not sure. This might be a little too light. I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to see. Because so I I kind of range in the middle between the, oh, like the lightest I range, you know, again, like the lightest and maybe a couple in, but also depends on the tone of it, blah, blah, blah. So we will see. Okay, what I picked up with the Believe Foundation was the brush, the foundation brush. Um, and I have to say, this brush, I did it today with the foundation, and this brush is unbelievable. And I think this is a $4 brush, $3.50. I mean, I, again, the quality of it is just great and the density of the of the brush itself and putting it was just a dream to work with so I'm impressed I might have to go get another one okay the next thing um that I purchased was um with the kick butt foundation I was at Walgreens and I got the real techniques mini expert face brush for five dollars I kind of wanted this for traveling, yes, but I also just wanted to try it because um, I like the foundation with the uh, handle, but sometimes um, the handle can get in the way or whatever, so I thought, oh, why don't I try the, the mini one and see how it works, and then it will also be good for traveling and so forth. So, all right, next thing. So, what I, I went to Ulta, and there were a couple of products that I really wanted to try at Ulta, or palettes. And they are by the Revolution um, line. And the one, the Wild Animal Planet. Uh, pl pl planet. Animal Planet, right? Do we watch that? Anyway, palette. Um, I want to try, there was two of them. So this is the Fierce one. Looks like that. And then I wanted to try the Courage one. So Leopard Tiger. So let's open it up and show you what the palette looks like. Um, these came out, I think, towards the end of summer. 
and I didn't really hear anybody talk about them that much, um, but I fell in love with them and wanted to try them. Um, they have mixed reviews. Um, some some people love the whole palette. Some only love a couple of uh, colors from the palette, and some people just don't like them. But I've been I I kind of just wanted to see what what um, if I did. So it looks like that. I took it out of the box, um, and it looks like that. Very nice hard palette uh of it and then the colors look like this it has the I'm just going to take off the clear plastic and the colors look like that so i found the colors very fascinating um this green kind of caught my eye and right now putting my finger in um they're soft and creamy that one is anyway so that's what that color looks like um, and then uh, let's try another one, maybe this one. See, this one feels just as nice and creamy and looks like that. So we'll see. Um, so that was that one. So I'm gonna have to do reviews on all the, everything I show you um, today, uh, but it's gonna take me a while, of course, to get through everything. Um, I'm just gonna put that down there, what I show. Okay, so then the, the Tiger one, which is the Fierce palette. Um, and let me, take out so like I said all the palettes that I bought are very affordable everything was all the palettes were either $20 or less so that's kind of exciting um I that's what I like to do um is splurge on eyeshadow palettes now I said I was obsessed with lipsticks which I am but currently my obsession is eyeshadow palettes I could not get enough of them. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's because they've come out with so many great palettes. I just want to try everything. I don't know, especially the affordable, um, either drugstore or indie brands. Okay, let me take the plastic off. Um, I did try this one a couple of days ago. Um, and this one was really nice too. Um, so the colors, again, as you can see, pretty colorful. Let me dip into this color right here. Now this one, Look at that. It's so creamy and it's so easy. Um, I mean, the color payoff, it just seems so great. You know, swatches again, they're not always tell, do not always tell the story, but you get a, you get an idea of what they will look like. And there's that color. So I'm, um, I enjoyed using this one. Um, I, I used it the day after I bought it and I liked it. Okay. So that's the revolution one. Um, then I wanted to try ColourPop. Um, they didn't have the one I wanted, which was, I think it was limited edition maybe. I'm not really sure. But it was the um, Bye Bye Birdie or um, the Owl. It was the Night Owl one. Well, they had three of them. And I wanted to try the Night Owl one, I think it was what it was called. Um, but they weren't there anymore. I saw it in the fall. Um, with the frozen palettes that came out and when I went back the day after Christmas they were gone so oh well but there was one that I really wanted to try as well and it's the X's and O's palette by Colourpop and here are the shadows and these are so pretty too I just I love these very high um glittered uh, shadows as well as the matte ones and I just thought this would be fun to play with so again let's see I will go into this one now these are not as soft but they're pigmented as the revolution those animal ones I don't find these are as soft and creamy but the pigment is great so I haven't tried this one so I'm gonna be I'm going to try this one soon <laughs> um okay so that is those um, and then we went to two Altas because there's one in right by our house and then there's one just a little ways down a few, uh, next town over, um, but not far. And so I, we went there and I was looking for, again, that palette. Maybe I should have called ahead, right? But, oh, well, I didn't. And they didn't have those, but what I was excited to find were the I Heart Revolution chocolate uh, series. Okay, so the this one is the one I have been waiting for, the s'mores one. Altas didn't have it. Online did not have it. Went to the I Heart Revolution site, did not have them. They were sold out. Um, and then I just kind of gave up on it. 
And so when I saw the line back at this Ulta that I was at, I was like, oh, you better believe I'm buying it. Because that was one of the ones that I so, so wanted in the fall. Um, so this one is the chocolate. This is the s'mores one. And this one, I just, I just love these colors. I, I just, oh my gosh, these colors are just so pretty. Um, I, I mean, very neutral, as you can see, very, very neutral, but I'm a neutral girl and the more neutral, the better. As I see, as you can see, I, I'm trying some colors, but this one I wanted to, I wanted to try. Um, so like I said, again, um, you know, this is money that, um, you know, for my birthday and Christmas, everybody just kind of does that for me and I go and I have fun on my birthday. <laughs> so I'm, I'm happy with the fact that I can, um, do that splurge once a year and just go and find a few things that I've been wanting, um, and so forth. Okay. So the other one, so the s'mores, and then I thought I got the red velvet one. Um, they also had, um, the ones with the, the popcorn, the avocado palette, the popcorn, they had all those too. But these were the ones that I really wanted to try um, the most. So the red velvet, I mean, the packaging is cute, like a chocolate bar, right? Or velvet bar. <laughs> um, and these colors kind of made me feel um, like they would be fun to try. So I will let you guys know how this one works, but I'm excited for these palettes, let me tell you. Okay, um, then they had this little itty bitty mini palette. Um, it's the I Heart Revolution, again, the same series, the chocolate, but it's a mini. Um, and this one is Rocky Road. And I just, I love them. I mean, these two, these palettes are $15. Um, and the mini one is $7. So, I mean, it's not bad, right? Um, and so it looks like this one, this one, I'm just like, I can't wait to try this Rocky Road. I just cannot wait to try this palette. I am so excited. Um, I think this is more of a highlight, I think. And I think this one is a blush. Maybe I'm wrong. I thought it was a blush, but maybe it's an eye. I bet you can use it for whatever. And you guys know how I use, I don't use them exactly the way they say they are all the time. Okay, so that's that. Um, oh, this BH Cosmetics palette, I saw another YouTuber who I just adore and love is Robin's Beauty Over 50. She is just so great. And I will link her uh, channel in the description box as well. Please go check her out and um, consider subscribing to her. She's so wonderful. She's such a lovely, lovely lady. I have just fallen in love with watching her blog. She does vlogs on Saturdays. Um, and I just enjoy, uh, I've just been enjoying getting to know her. She's just, just wonderful. Um, and she does, she does tutorials. She uh, did a series of uh, Thursday tips, a three minute tip. And um, one of the tips I got, came around, came away with, excuse me, was my eyebrows, taking a Q-tip and getting all the foundation or powders out of the eyebrow and then doing your eyebrow. I've been doing that tip and I've been loving it. So yay, right? Um, and so that's the thing, like there are things that I don't always, um, you know, we're always learning, right? There's this really corny um, saying from Little House on the Prairie where the mom is talking to Laura and Laura is not liking school and, and learning and blah, blah, blah. And she's like, hey, I hope, I don't know exactly the exact quote, but it basically is, basically we should always be learning until the day we are, till the day we die. Like we should always be learning. And so I, that's how I feel. I feel like there is still stuff out there that I I want to learn and continue to learn. So anyway, so anyway, she would talk about this BH Cosmetics. Um, this is the Sylvia Ganny, I think it's called Sylvia Ganny Beauty. And so I saw her using this and I was like, I gotta have it. I gotta have it. <laughs> and so perfect opportunity. I went and picked it up for my birthday. This one, this palette actually is the most expensive palette from all the palettes that I have shown you so far. So um, anyway, the packaging is really nice and durable, looks great. Um, open it up and you get all these shadows plus a couple of highlighters. Um, so three, four, five in a row, five, 10, 50. So 20, 
shadows and then two highlights um it looks like that and so i'm excited to try this as well the colors look really pretty um the one color this purple so pretty right and then i'm going to try a little bit of a lighter color maybe this one right below it so I am excited to try this one as well. So thank you, Robin, <laughs> for recommending this palette. I'm excited for that. Okay, now, the next three palettes are drugstore brand. One is a Hard Candy, one is a Milani, and one is an e.l.f. palette. And the Hard Candy one that I got was the Blushful Nudes. And I bought this one because of Sabrina. She talked about this being a dupe for the Huda palette new palette, I believe. And, um, the, uh, you know, they come with these brushes. I don't usually use them. Some of them are not bad. I will say some of the, uh, the brushes that come in these palettes sometimes are not horrible. So sometimes you need to try them and see if you like them or not. But anyway, so this is the, um, shadows that come in this eye hard candy. This is 10 bucks for all those shadows. And if this is a dupe, which Sabrina talks about in her one of her videos um, and talks about this being an exact dupe and shows you the swatches and they do look pretty, pretty uh, close to being the same. So I have this on today. Oh, as you can see, it's kind of the end of the day and it's kind of smudged, but these are the colors and they are quite pigmented and nice to blend out. Okay, and then, um, so I thought I bought the $10 e.l.f., well, not the $10. I thought I, okay, so this palette I thought was recommended by Emily Noel, but she actually was talking about the, the $10 one um, from e.l.f., which is like the Spice, um, I think it's called Spice Chocolate, something like that. Um, and so when I went to the store, I saw that one, and then I saw this one for $14, and they're pretty close to the colors that the reason why I wanted to buy it, which is this yellow here and this purple she used in that other palette. And I thought, oh, so they're pretty much the same thing, except this one has more shadows in it than the $10 one. I'm not sure if that's true. I would have to swatch both of them to compare and I didn't buy that one. So, but I'm pretty sure I can get a pretty good close look to um, what Emily Noel did in her video. So a lot of times, again, these palettes that I buy are palettes that have been recommended by other YouTubers um, liking these palettes. And again, I wait and I go buy them, um, especially if they're so close to the Christmas birthday time you know, wait. So that's what I thought I did, but I made a mistake. So this isn't the one that she, Emily Noel talked about in her video, but I think it's pretty close. I'm um, considering it's still elf. Um, and the colors are pretty similar. So we'll see. Um, okay. And then Milani. Now this is the one I'm not sure if this is a new palette or if it's been out for a while, or if it just came out for the holidays, kind of seems like a holiday palette, but I'm not sure, but it's the gilded gold. So let me know in the description box if anybody, or in the comments, if anybody knows if this has been out or if this is a newer palette by Milani. But this palette has, I'm going to, um, I'm going to take off the plastic if I can. Um, this palette kind of reminds me of a lot of palettes that have been going around. I don't know if they're, I'm not going to take it off because I'm going to ruin it if I do. Um, I don't know if it's Natasha Denona or if it's Charlotte. I'm not sure, but the colors remind me of palettes that I have seen on Instagram and YouTube. Like this green, this gold color here. Just this color uh, presentation in this palette reminds me of palettes that I have seen going around by Alter Ego. Um, that is a dupe, I think, for Natasha Denona, but I'm not certain. Anyway, let me know if this is new or if this is a holiday palette. Um, but I picked this up because I thought the colors were just really pretty anyway, especially for this time of year. Okay, so that is it for palettes, if you can believe that. <laughs> a lot of palettes, right? Um, then, okay, so this is probably about the last thing I'm going to talk about, except for I finally, when um, you know, my eco tools, you guys know, are like my favorite for my eyes, but I decided to buy the Real Techniques um, eye shadow uh, tools, uh, brushes, um, 
these two especially and I use them today and I have to tell you I am in love with these because they kind of angle so when you put when you use them I am liking the way to use them these are I've used them once first impressions I'm loving these so I'll have to let you know um and then there's just a couple of things that I had to buy like my elf um eyebrow pencil I bought it um I've been using that I've been using you guys know I love my Maybelline um pencil uh, Total Temptations and uh, the tattoo one, which I still have the tattoo one. I had to get a new one. I'm using it, but I right now decided to try e.l.f. again because I bought the lightest one and it just, I didn't like it. So I went for taupe and I have that on today and I think it's a better match for me and I like it a lot more. Um, so I had to get that. I had to get eyebrow razors, things like that. Um, so, but anyway, so the lippies, um, by ColourPop. These are lippy sticks and I wasn't going to buy these. I was like, mm. but when I bought the ColourPop X's and O's, I saw these um, at the Alta, excuse me, um, and I started swatching and I'm like, wow, these are really nice colors, vivid, vibrant, really, and I've never tried a ColourPop lipstick or lippy or anything of ColourPop lip glosses, anything, and so I'm like, for six dollars why not so i bought this color i'll swatch these because um i just want to show you what they look like so this one is called happy thoughts um so happy thoughts so that's happy thoughts it's really pretty uh pinky uh pinky tone um, so that's that one. The next one I bought was Cami Matte X, I think is how it is what it is. It, let me show you. It looks like that. Come on, focus. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. Sorry, guys. Okay, it's not focusing. Sorry. So um, let's try. I'll swatch this one. Um, some of these are lighter. Um, it. So that that's kind of goes along the color line that I really like. It's so pretty. I mean, that's one swatch of color. So that was really nice. And I dropped the cap, so I'll have to get that after. Um, this one is called Parker. Oh, and some of them are matte and some of them are not. Um, no, these are all matte. Maybe they're all, maybe they are all matte. I guess they are matte. Okay, never mind. They're all matte. But when I swatched them, they didn't seem all matte. So this is Parker. There's Parker. So pretty, right? Um, I really like that one. Um, this one is Gold Digger. So that's Gold Digger. Sorry, that was a bad swatch. There's Gold Digger. So they're kind of on the same scheme of color. Just a different, uh, you know, they're just, some are a little lighter and some are a little deeper. Um, and then the last one is Oh Snap. And I'm actually wearing it today. So it's a fairer, fairer, fair. It's a lighter color. I'll swatch it though so you can see what it looks like. Looks like that. And right there. So there's that one. So yeah, pretty close to what it looks like. So it's a more of a nudie color. And I'm I'm loving these lippies. Um I am quite impressed with them. There is one color that I didn't show, and I don't know where it's at. Three, four, five. Yeah, I have six of them. That sounds like a lot. Um, I don't know where it's at. Sorry, guys. Um, but the one that I... Oh, here it is. Okay. It's called Cookie. And this is the lightest shade, Cookie. So let me swatch that one really quick. So here. That's Cookie. So this one's a little more of a pinky nude. This one's more of like an orangey uh, nude, brown shade nude, tan. Um, and let me get a wipe to wipe that off so anyway that is what my Christmas birthday Christmas slash birthday um what I went to the store and was able 
to um, get. I am so thankful for my family, friends um, that thought of me and, um, well, you know, kind of, yeah, I'm just so thankful for my family and my friends and people I work with. <laughs> they have been wonderful. Like I, I, like everybody knows I have a new job this year and I have been just loving it. I have been just loving everything about my job as a paraprofessional working with these wonderful kids that I have been honored or privileged to work with this year. I am very, very happy um, and content with what I'm doing. Um, and also here on YouTube, it's been really fun and I've been just enjoying it. And, um, I, I just, I'm, I'm very thankful, um, for, for being able to do this, um, and just share my passion of makeup and my passion of feeling good. That's part of it with makeup. Like I said, it's an emotion, it's a feeling, and it makes me feel happy. It makes me feel good. And, before I started my own channel, I would watch these videos and I always just felt so excited to watch others show makeup and try on makeup and just, it just, it, it, it's therapy basically. And, um, that's how I feel, you know, and it's, it's been great these past few months. So, Anyway, I am going to end this video here. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up. It will help me out. Um, and if you are not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. And if you already are subscribed to my channel, I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your love and your support. And I will see you in the next one. Take care.